All right, so we're gonna go over filling it up. Um, so here we are at the, the sanitation station, hooked up to the drinking water. Um, so in the back here, in this compartment, in the bin is where I keep the fresh water hose. So uh, pretty simply, we've got it hooked up here and we've got it hooked up to the fresh water connection, um, the fill tank, not the city water connection down below. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna fill it up until the water starts spraying out of this little vent hole right here. While that's filling, there's two things to do. One of them is turn on the on-off switch in the bottom of the water heater here. This is the electric element, so I'm gonna flip that to the on position. Close that back up, and then we're gonna come around to the front, and we're gonna turn on the propane tank as long as we're sitting here letting everything fill. I'm just gonna reach in here, turn the valve on, and then we should be good to go. Uh, so once it's full and spraying out, we can shut it off, close the, the lid, and then head to the campsite. Okay, so I'm here scoping out the site. Uh, one thing to be very careful about is, uh, in this case, we've got plenty of clearance, but the uh, stabilizer jacks and the tank drain, the sewer drain, are pretty low, and so you don't want to back into a curb with them. They're, that's pretty easy to do. So in this case, we're good. Um, also, what's good is it looks like I'm perfectly level side to side, so I don't need to put any blocks under the tires. If I did, that's what I would do right now, is put some blocks under whichever tire needed to come up, back onto it, check for level. But we're good to go. Another smart thing to do is have spotters. Um, in this case, my spotters are missing, but I've got a rear view observation camera on it. And so you could have somebody back there watching and yelling in case you were getting close to something. So uh, we're looking good here, so we're gonna move on to the next step. When you're picking your precise location is that you wanna make sure you're close to your power plug. So in this case, we've got tons of cords, super easy stretch right there. So I've got, I've got it plugged in. I usually do that pretty quick here. Got the wheels chalked. Um, next, I'm gonna open up the slide out so everyone can start moving in, and then I'm gonna unhitch it. There'll be a separate video on hitching and unhitching. So uh, next time you see me here, I'll have it unhitched, and then we're gonna level it front to back and drop down the stabilizer jack. All right, one other thing that I did is I went in and turned the fridge on now that I've got it plugged into shore power. Um, I've got the vehicle unhitched, and now I use the power tongue jack to get it leveled out nice front to back. So now we're fully level. So I'm going to go back here in this rear storage compartment. I've got a DeWalt drill and we're going to run these down on some blocks of wood. Just put a little bit of tension on them. I'm going to go around and do all four of them. Uh, make sure everything feels nice and stable. You do not try and lift the camper up with these. They just go down and touch the ground enough to keep it from moving around when you walk around inside. Of it. All right, we're almost set up here. Two last things to do are gonna be turn on the water pump. And up here, you can see the slide out. So this, of course, we ran this out to get the slide out there. And then uh, we're gonna run the awning out. So right here, awning out. We'll hold that down for a few seconds and get the awning all the way out. And then we are fully set up and ready to go.